But first here on St. Louis 11 News at 4, a lengthy police chase starting in the city of St. Louis and ending in Jefferson County with the suspect dead. Police say that chase started when the anti-crime task force tried to pull over a stolen truck. St. Louis 11's Mallory Thomas shows us where the chase ended, 16 miles from where it started. The end of this block shut down for several hours with crime scene tape up and evidence markers out. That red truck finally coming to a stop in between these two buildings. Neighbors catching bits and pieces of the chaos on camera as it unfolds. Take a look at this video from a front porch that shows a red truck come barreling down the hill with flat tires and white smoke trailing behind it. You could hear the, the grinding of the tires just screeching across the street. And I, I noticed the red truck just flying down oh, the street and he went in between the buildings and I did notice two police officers right behind him. Neighbors say the next thing you could hear was gunshots. As soon as you see the cops jump out, all you hear is four exchange of um, gunshots. And then next thing you know, you see the girl in the brown hair and in the tank top. She was limping and she was running up, um, cluelessly looking and knocking on all of the apartments. Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox shows the heavy police presence filling this street in Jefferson County, where the driver got into a deadly shootout with officers. Law enforcement officers uh, had no choice but to engage in a shootout with the suspect who was also armed. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office identifying the driver as 45-year-old Terry Pfeffer. They say Pfeffer has a long criminal history with drug charges, gun charges, assault, and more. They say a handgun was recovered from the scene. The suspect fired at law enforcement officers throughout this entire episode, and it didn't conclude uh, until uh, he forced police officers into a situation that they had to defend themselves. People who live on the street are thankful that neighbors were not caught in the crossfire. I heard the gunman, I suppose, I guess you would say, firing at the police, and I saw the police shooting back at the gunman. And this went on, it seemed like forever, but there's probably at least 15 18 shots. As for that female passenger, police are still reviewing evidence to determine if she will face any charges. In Jefferson County, Mallory Thomas, St. Louis 11 News.